Hello friends, welcome back to our series Math for Machine Learning and uh, today we are going to look into the topic of uh, visual representation of probability. This visual representation actually makes it bit easier for us to see what is going on when we are considering multiple events and in order to find the probability of occurrence of that event. All right. So, let us consider the example that we saw last time is we flipped three coins and we got the following possible eight outcomes, right. So, in order to uh, do a visual representation of probability, what we are going to do is we are going to consider um, an a, a rectangle area, okay, and we know from our theory that the probability of all these events together is is equal to 1. So, the probability of the entire thing is is equal to 1. So, in this case we will consider an region or an area which is equal to 1 all right. Okay. So, let us uh, do a you know, mapping. So, in such cases uh, we typically hear the word called outcome. Okay and in terms of area we will call it as region. So, uh, if I take this example, so basically they will be split into 8 pieces right. So, 2, 4, 6 and 8 just assume that all these are of same square size. I am still adjusting with my digital pen. Um, so, so, for example, this is H H H, this is H H T and H T H and so on and then we have T T T. Okay. So, what we can see from this representation is that all this um, area, this area here, this area here, these are all of equal size, right. So, basically the probability of getting 3 head is 1 because it is taking 1 space uh, in this area divided by total possible outcome which is 1 over 8. So, also uh, if I split my rectangle in 8 equal pieces which invariably means the same thing that you know it is 1 eighth of the area in, in, in terms of the region I can say 1 eighth of area right and these are individual pieces here are the outcomes. All right. Now, if I am considering um, this events where I want to see only two heads. Okay. So, that means I am considering this uh, case here. So, let me uh, highlight this with color. So, I am looking for two heads which is this one, two heads which is this one and I have to now write all of this H T T. I am not looking for this one. Uh, then I have T H H. Yes, I am looking for this case and then uh, I am looking for T H T. No, I am not looking for this one and also not looking for this one. So, basically uh, what I have is 1, 2 and 3. So, my event should have two heads and I can see that only three square pieces out of this eight are having two heads. So, that means again my probability becomes 3 over 8. So, I hope that how we can represent uh, you know uh, probability in terms of region or area or basically geometrically. So, let us consider uh, now the case of a, a general case. Uh, not just this uh, coin flipping. Okay. So, now let us uh, try to generalize uh, our concept of visual representation of probability. So, in a simple space like this, this all could be outcomes, uh, there can be more outcomes and when we uh, separate them out clearly that means they are independent events. So, that means if I flip one coin, when I got a head that means I am not expecting to get a tail and when I got a tail. I am not expecting to get ahead. That means, I am not considering the case when both will occur at the same time. And that is the no, that is what we are not considering. Okay. Uh, it might happen that the coin has jumped and you know uh, stood on the edge instead of lying on one side. Right. 
this is the case we are not looking for. All right. So, in this case, uh, this particular uh, region could be one event. Yeah, this could be E 1 and this could be E 2. So, from our axioms of probability, we know that probability of this event E 1 union E 2 is nothing but the probability of the individual event which is P of E 1 plus P of E 2 given E 1 and E 2 are disjoint or independent, disjoint or independent. Now, if the situation changes and E 1 and E 2 are not independent, rather you know uh, they happen uh, simultaneously or they happen because of the other one. So, they will probably overlap in terms of the region. So, basically your graph would look now something like this because now they are no longer independent. So, the sample space remains the same. So, basically you will have event E 1 right and you have event say E 2. So, in this case what will happen is probability of E 1 union E 2 will still have P of E 1 plus P of E 2, but now if you see here we have a common overlap here that means, I am counting this twice right while I am counting E 1 and while I am counting E 2 I have counted this twice. So, all I will do here is subtract that region. So, it will be minus E 1 and this is nothing but the intersection of E 1 and E 2. So, I can simply call it as E 1 intersection E 2 all right. So, this was because we have two events E 1 and E 2. So, I can represent it this way. Now, let us look into the case where we have say three events and this equation will slightly modify and then it, this same logic can be extended for higher number of events.